I want to share with you guys here some images of Pluto's moon. Now, these are being dropped on us every so often here as of late. You can talk Titan, Encladius, Mars itself, Ceres, Charon. I mean, you go on and on and on with, with these different bodies that they're dropping images on us of. And you start to see one thing that is repetitive. And at least I'm seeing it. And for people that want to keep their head in the sand, go for it. Um, that's, that's on you. I'm telling you, I'm seeing a design, a pattern that's not seen here on Earth. That you see right here, all through here. And it's on all of these rocks that they're taking pictures of. Now, you know, right at the gate, obviously, NASA feeds us all kinds of deception. But you'd be a fool to turn the cheek and not pay attention to what they're doing. Even though you have to use a lot of discernment. And granted, a lot of the stuff they give us is garbage. You'd be a fool to turn the cheek and not pay attention to what's going on. It's, in my belief, no doubt, they're going to drop hints on what's going on right in front of us. And they're going to see who's paying attention, if anyone. And right before your very eyes, heavily photoshopped images indeed and manipulated, they do tell a tale. The structures on here that are very, very interesting. The design on all of it. And not to mention when you get to the pyramid type structures. And even the massive shadows of. And you can see the smaller ones right next to it. You can see they are pyramid in nature. They, they carry the shadow, the shape, everything. Even the ones over here. Look at that. These are pyramid shaped structures on this rock. That they're saying just so happens to be a whole lot like ours, like our moon. But what I'm, you know, why don't they ever give give us up close, extremely up close images of our moon that's right there? Well, do you guys know that it's almost forbidden for anyone in any agency or in, at any telescope to point that thing at the moon unless they get special privileges or permission to do so? I talked about this with Dark Skywatcher. Asking why in the hell won't anyone do it? You know, that's why he does what he does. But these bigger observatories are hell-bent on stopping anyone from doing that. One of the reasons they try to always pawn off on individuals is that, oh, it's like looking into the sun, it's so bright, it damaged the equipment. But that's garbage. Because the Pope and everyone else will roll right up, up, up to their telescope, Lucifer, and they'll lock the thing right on it. But they won't give the public any of the information that, that they're getting. Obviously, we're kept in the dark. I just wanted to share with you some of these newest shots. And they show one image, and then they leave this little strip that has all the real good detail in it. You have to blow it up and go looking. And if you look at Titan, if you look at the train of Titan, if you guys remember the videos I did on it, you'll remember it looked the exact same way. Some areas honeycombed, but it has this design in it that is just amazing. And like I said, these images look heavily photoshopped, obviously, and they've done a lot of manipulating. But as far as I can tell, there's uh, something going on here. And to have this many pyramid-type structures laid out all in one area, um, so close to one another, when I don't see anything else like it throughout uh, the rest of this, if you go looking through all the terrain, it um, raises some questions. So, thought it was pretty interesting. If you guys find anything I missed, let me know. I'm sure you're going to come across quite a bit. There's a lot of detail, especially for those that can get these images blown up a lot bigger and get down in here and look at some of the, the smaller things and be able to draw out a lot of that finer detail that they like to hide. It tells a whole different story once you get to the bottom of it. it paints a whole different picture. This has been Dabu 7. Eyes to the skies.